So here's our snowman. He's basically just white and silver paint is what I used for him. And like I said in the post, if you want to have a little more confidence with this, you could always use some white chalk and chalk out your design first or um, just go for it. As you can see, it's just basically three circles is what we're doing for the snowman. And what I'm going to do now is add, <clears throat> excuse me, add just a little bit of grass um, on the bottom for where the snowman is sitting. And for that, I'm going to use two shades of green. You could go ahead and use three or four. It's up to you. I have two available right now. So uh, when you do the paint layering, what you're going to want to do is do the darker color first. Just use very light strokes. And so we're going to put a little bit just on this really thin brush. Come over to our, I'm going to try to do this in video at the same time just a little bit to show you. It's just going to be real wispy strokes. And the key that, to making this look natural is using the right brush that will make these strokes for you. So I'm going to do all the little wispy, kind of dark green. I'm going to come back over it with some lighter green. That's what makes it look very professional. Um, when you kind of layer the colors to make it look like natural grass. So I'm going to continue on that. I'll take some pictures too and show you. So as you can see, I added a little bit of lighter green on top of the dark green. And I'm going to add a little bit of white back onto it and just kind of <clears throat> put a little bit of white paint on my brush and kind of get some of it off. You can put some silver on there too. It's really, what we're going to do is just kind of tamp down the grass since it would probably be snow, snowy grass. And it makes it kind of blend into the snowman a little bit better. So he's it's kind of sitting in some snowy grass. There's no real right or way to, to do it. You just kind of have to go with it. Okay. So we've got him in some snowy grass. And now we're going to embellish him a little bit, add some buttons and a scarf. I've added his little black buttons in the center. And for the face, sometimes I choose to use a Q-tip just because it makes a nice round circle. And I usually just do two eyes and a nose. You could do orange for a carrot nose if you want. Um, I think I'm just going to do two eyes and a black nose. And we're going to do a red scarf, and I'll show you that in a bit. For his scarf, I'm going to use this flat brush. Um, it's kind of a smaller brush. hope you can see it. I'm not sure if it's focusing. And what you're going to do is just come across his neck and then make it kind of fly off. It's I know I'm making it sound easy, but it, it really is easy. If you want to use your chalk, you can go ahead and chalk one in, but use basic geometric designs and then kind of fill it in with a few shades of your paint to make it look a little more special. The first stroke I did was basically right across his neck and I came out here with just a little line. I'm going to come, come down a bit, do the same kind of line make it fly off. My white paint is still not quite dry, but that's okay because I kind of wanted it to add to the dimension of his scarf because I might use some white white dots on his scarf anyway. So I'm going to make one of them fly off his neck a little bit. And this on a black shirt, I'm probably definitely going to have to use some white so that you can see the scarf. So it's just real fine strokes that I'm doing. And like I said, basic geometric shape. That's basically a long cockeyed rectangle. <laughs> then I'm going to go ahead and bring the other part of the scarf just down by his side and make it look like it's sort of resting there. 
doesn't have to be a big scarf. It's just kind of for some color. And after this red dries, just a little bit, I'm just using one color. Right now I'm going to add in just a little bit of silver just to give it a little kind of sparkle dimension. And you just, do you see how it just becomes a little bit more special because I just added one more color and it makes it look a little bit more real. There's really no rhyme or reason and there's really no right way to do it. So you just keep playing with it until you like how it looks and then just stop. Just stop touching it. <laughs> and sometimes I even just do a few things on it and then I come back to it later in the day when I have a little bit more time to spend and just uh, to get it just right because it's all about layering. I hope the lighting is okay. That It's a rainy, miserable day here, so I don't have a lot of natural light. Um, let's see, for his stick hands, I'm just gonna put two little kind of sprigs of silver here in a triangular shape. I'm gonna mix a little bit of white with it just to kind of, so that you could see it since this is a dark shirt. You don't need a lot of paint on there. Um, I'm just going to kind of do what I want it to look like and then I'll come back over it. They're just kind of little stick arms. Nothing major, just so he's balanced. He's a balanced snowman. Does not have to be perfect because snowmen normally aren't. So you just kind of fill that in just so you could see it and when you step back from it. Yeah, it looks like a snowman. For his hat, I'm going to use the same silver and white and just do a little bit. It's going to be a basic square. So I'm going to do a square at the top. I can just outline it right here. I'm going to do a little cockeyed square. Remember, geometric shape and then I'm going to do a rectangle below it. See how I just kind of connected those? And I'm going to lightly fill that in with another brush so that it shows up. For his hat, um, I used silver and white and some black when I was finished because since his head is white, you need to add some dimension with the black to make sure you have some so basically I use silver and black because that shows up better since his head is white. And you just, sorry, I hope you guys can see this. Hard to paint and hold a camera. But like I said, it's a basic geometric shape on his head and you kind of cut across the top of his head to make it look like it's sitting there. Since I have some green and red left, I'm gonna put a little sprig of holly when this dries on his hat for more color. Our snowman is pretty much complete besides his hat. I'm gonna add some green and red to his hat. And I think what I'm gonna do as he's kind of opened here on the, on the sides, I have a little more room on this shirt. I'm going to add some silver and white, just little snowflakes to kind of fill out the design of this shirt. So let me just get a little, I'm going to do, do a little silver, a little white. Snowflakes are really easy. They're a lot like his hand. You just make a, let me see if I have the camera here. You make a X and you make a line through the X and another line through the X. You can make some big ones and little ones. When this dries, you might want to come back over it with another layer of paint. That's just up to you, whatever look you're going for. Sometimes it's nice to just have it be a little more transparent. This is where your brush is key. Um, this brush is probably a little too thick for a smaller snowflake, but 
just kind of add them, I guess it would make sense to add them above the grass. Reload your brush and just keep going. It's just however you want to make it look. Just do an X, line through the X, and another line. For the holly on his hat, I'm going to use some of this green that I used for the grass. I don't need a lot, just a just a little bit on the brush. And I'm going to do it, I think, I hope you can see this. I'm hoping this is focusing. Just going to do a little pounce of green there. Come on the other side. And get a little bit more paint here. Just pounce it there. Do you see how that's basically like a bow design? It's two little triangles on each side. I'm going to add some three little berries in the middle.